Hey guys, it's Bear here, Return to Preparedness. Helping you prepare off your doomsday, but your everyday. So, for those of you who listen to my podcast and consume the video content that I put out, uh, this is kind of going to be a little redundant, but uh, those of you who don't, uh, I do put out a weekly podcast, and I'm looking to kind of give you a condensed video version of that weekly podcast. So if you don't take the time to listen to the audio, uh, at least you'll get it on the video too. So it might be a little bit of redundancy, you know, um, but I want to make sure that I'm getting out as much content as possible to everybody and getting the information out so that way you're getting it whether you're listening to it you know to and from work the audio version or you know whatever you're around your house or you sit down and watch a little video so the podcast typically lasts about 40 minutes to an hour I'm gonna try and give you this uh, condensed version of it in about you know 10 to 20 minute video so that's what I'm gonna be doing here today uh, this week on the podcast, uh, we kind of talked about things you could be doing during this downtime that we have uh, between the holiday season, now that that's just finishing up, you know, being the new year, and what you can do between now and springtime when everything kind of kicks back into high gear and you're out, you know, in the yard in your gardens or, you know, out doing, you know, it's out camping or, you know, you're just outside a lot more and a lot more activities are going on. You kind of get that... Uh, real downtime, you know, and it kind of, the days start to get, uh, the, you know, the days are getting longer, but there's not enough time, you know, where you're outside a whole lot, you know, you kind of get, people start to get a little bit of uh, cabin fever, a little, little down in the dumps maybe, you know, and here's some things, I'm going to go over some things that you can do to kind of get yourself out of that and get yourself prepared, that way when spring comes, you can just hit the ground running, you know what I'm saying? So... That's what we're going to cover in this little condensed version of the podcast. I went into it a little more detailed in the podcast. If you want to give that a listen, go to journeypreparedness.net. You can get the podcast right there. Or you can listen to it on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, whatever uh, podcast format you use. So a couple of things that you can be doing right now uh, if you are already into preparedness and this isn't something that's new to you, you can be going through your preps. Uh, going through your food supplies, your you know medical supplies, anything like that that you have, water, you know, food storage, first aid, ammo, whatever, whatever you have that you're storing, start going through one by one, line by line of you know all the items you have, checking the dates on them, checking how much you have, uh, see if you got you know if you have if you planned out your meals properly and you took the time to actually you know go down step by step of all the items you eat and your copy canning if you're buying what you eat and then keeping that supply on hand you can go through all those items and see make sure you've got enough if you've got storage for three months or six months or whatever the case may be you can go each one of those through each one of those items and then say okay now i've got you know, three months of this, six months of that. Where do I need to add some more? Where do I need to maybe slow, scale back a little bit? You know, is my family still eating that? Are we not eating it? You know, you can kind of look through each one of those things and go, again, item by item and see where you're at, where your status is, what your status should be. You know, make sure that everything is in line with each other. Um, so that's one thing you can be doing now during these down days of winter. It's going through your preps and step by step and make sure everything, checking dates. You know, is it past the expiration date? Are you willing to eat that item past the expiration date? How long past the expiration date are you willing to go? You know, keep those things in mind. Make sure that the the oldest is to the front and the newest is to the back. You know, so you set everything up so you have a proper system going. Did your system work? Do you need to retool your system? Now is the time to do that, you know, and now is the time to prepare for what your next step is. If you're looking at gardening, right, are you going to add garden beds? Where are you going to put those garden beds? Can you go out there now, go outside, measure out the area, make sure that what your plan is is going to fit in that little area that you had planned out? Do you need to move it? Is there some place that's going to work a little better? If you take the time to do that now, when springtime comes and you want to put in those garden beds and you want to get these these plans rolling, right? 
you you have all the prep work done it's going to save you a lot of time so that way the execution can go a lot quicker a lot smoother and you can get ahead of schedule you know set yourself up a schedule how much time is it going to take you if you want to add three garden beds how much time do you think it's going to take you per garden bed and if you map that all out and then you put yourself okay on this date i'm going to go out and do these three garden beds and i figure each bed is going to take me an hour a piece right now i got three hour time allotted for those three garden beds well you know things happen right so give yourself three and a half four hours make sure you've got that time frame set up on that day so you can execute that and if it happens to get done earlier that's great because mentally that's going to motivate you to keep working and keep moving on to the next step and by doing that you're ready to go for the next item and if you prepare all these things now when the weather does get better and you are outside and you are doing the execution it's going to go a lot smoother because you've already laid out all the plans you laid out all the groundwork you got that foundation going and now it's just about execution and execution will be a lot smoother if you are if you're prepared ahead of time with the planning so don't try and wait till the spring to plan and plan it out while you're out there because then it's going to take you a whole lot longer than it would have if you had taken this downtime that you have now to prepare for execution come springtime you know if you're if you've already got established garden beds and you're going to be planting now is the time to start looking at when are you going to do the planting if you're going to do seed starts when are you going to start your seeds you know when is your last frost date are you going to plant on your last frost date or are you going to go a week or two after now i got to go eight weeks back from that for seed starts for some maybe it's 10 weeks maybe it's six right look at your seeds start going through and seeing this seed takes six weeks this seed takes eight weeks Okay, now that I've got this idea of where these are going to go, when do I got to plant them? When do I got to start that seed? Is my seed starting system set up? Do I know where I'm going to put my seed starts? How I'm going to do? I, are they going to get light? Do I need artificial light? Do I need timers? Right? These are all things you've been going through now, planning ahead of time to get ready for that springtime, uh, you know, garden. These are things we can be doing to get ourselves set up for the future. If you prepare now you'll be ready to execute later. Now, are you going to be learning a new skill set? In learning that new skill set, what do you need to do to get ready for it? Right? Is there anything you can be doing now? Could you be reading up? Could you be researching? Could you be figuring out, um, you know, if you want to learn friction fires or you want to learn, um, you know, some new shelter ideas, you know, sur survival skills. You know, you want to go out in the woods and, and live off the land for a week, right? Do you want to be able to, you know, fish or, you know, trap or you want to be able to go out there and build a shelter? What can you look at now? You can be doing research. You can be doing reading, right? Even though you can't execute those shelters, I mean, you could if you wanted to go out in the wintertime, but if you want to wait till the spring and summer where it's a little nicer and warmer and, you know, the, the climate is a little different for you, then start doing the planning now. What tools are you going to need? How much, you know, are, what cordage are you going to need? What kind of shelter do you plan on building? How, uh, you know, do some research, look at the different kinds of shelters, the, the, the variations, the, the difficulties, right? Watch some, watch some other YouTube videos and see what them people, you know, what other people were doing. How, what, what, what strengths and weaknesses, what pluses and minuses they had to those different shelters. Start doing that prep work now. That way when it comes time to execution, it'd be a lot smoother for you and you'll be ready for it. So that's kind of what we went over in the podcast uh, today is just things we can do during these dog days of winter in between, you know, the holiday season that just ended and the spring season when we're actually getting outside and things are getting warmed up and start growing and everything's fresh and new. So what can we do in between there to keep us um, motivated and keep us going and not get us into that, you know, those uh the, the the cabin fever and the uh you know the the depression that sets in for a lot of people during this time so what can you do to keep yourself mentally motivated to keep yourself going during this time to get yourself prepared for the springtime uh and, and get yourself ahead of the game when it comes time for execution that way it goes a lot smoother Mentally, it's motivating for you and it keeps you wanting to move forward with all of your plans. Because trust me, I've been there. When plan things don't go according to plan and they take longer than you thought they would, it really can get you down sometimes. So in order to avoid that, do all the prepping now 
You know, we're, right now we're stepping through our seed catalogs. We, we've got a bunch of seed catalogs. Me, me and my wife, we're, we're going through those and checking off what items we think we might, might want to grow next spring. And uh, then we'll do the ordering and we'll be ready to go for, uh, for springtime for planting. So these are things you can be doing now to prepare yourself for spring, to get yourself ahead of the game. So when the warmer weather comes, you can hit the ground running instead of having to be going through the planting phase then. So. Again, this is just going to be going to start doing these weekly, just a shortened, condensed version of the podcast. If you want a little fuller, a little more in depth, then go listen to the audio version. Um, and then uh, you'll get you'll get these weekly as as along with additional videos of things that are going on. So uh, again, this has been Bear with Journey Preparedness, helping you prepare your life for your doomsday, but your everyday. Peace.